Well guys, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. First, the good. We got this awesome new set yesterday, complete with a bunch of gray geometric shapes and a rotating cast of lamps. But the bad news is we may only have two weeks and some change left to enjoy it. No, we're not shutting the show down, but if the Mayan calendar is to be believed, the apocalypse is nigh. Yes, the Mayan calendar ends on December 21st, 2012, and the conspiracy-obsessed corner of the internet is losing their effing minds, thinking the day is gonna play out something like this. Instead of what it's really probably gonna play out like this. But what if the crazies are actually right? What if of all the previous bogus doomsday predictions, 2012 is actually true? Keeping in mind the Mayan calendar didn't account for leap years and the real end of the world should have happened sometime in 2008, you've still got a little bit of time to prepare. You can start by selling your house and if you're miraculously able to put it on the market and close within the next two weeks, you can use the cash to buy your own spot in a luxury bomb shelter. A company by the name of Vivos has been buying old underground government bunkers and converting them into luxury, albeit a bit cramped, communities for $50,000 per person. If your application is accepted, it'll guarantee a spot in one of their bunkers with enough supplies for one full year of survival after the world ends. But if you can't afford a spot in a bomb shelter, you're probably going to have to face the end of the world solo. Thankfully, the U.S. Army knows a thing or two about survival, and now that knowledge is available in app form. The iSurvival app, or U.S. Army Survival Guide on Android, gives you everything you'll need to know to survive when and if the shit hits the fan. With thousands of pages and illustrations covering things like basic medicine, how to build a shelter, proper food procurement procedures, the app puts the entire U.S. Army Survival Guide on your phone, available all the time, offline, or until your battery dies. And not to be a downer to all those doomsday preppers out there, but even NASA, with all their fancy pants science and facts they got from them learning books, yeah, they came out against the December 21st rumor stating that this is just a manufactured fantasy during a recent Google Plus hangout. Well, fantasy or not, I've actually hung out with some of these people who believe the world will end on the 21st, and I can tell you personally that if the end of the world happens, I'm grabbing a lawn chair, setting it up on top of my apartment, grabbing a couple beers, and letting the apocalypse just wash right over me, because I frankly don't want to live on a planet where those are the only people left on Earth. How are you preparing or not preparing for December 21st? Let us know in the comments below, and you could win a snazzy Tech Feed t-shirt, just like Sri Krishnan did today. He watched yesterday's video and left the winning comment, I want Google Maps back on the iPhone. Don't we all, Shri Krishnan? Congrats on taking home the shirt. Hopefully it gets to you before the end of the world. For TFN, this is Scott Bromley saying, watch out, the sky is falling, but not really.